Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who has created this great big world. A God who's thought of everything that we would need. A God who's brought beauty to our eyes and a joy to our senses. A God who wants us to enjoy this life as we look forward to eternity with Him. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from John chapter 15, beginning at verse 9. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in His love. I have told you this so, you, so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. you know, as I think about these words, I, I think about the fact that so often today uh, we don't want to give our all uh, to God. Uh, or so many people don't want to give their all to God. They, so many people want to say, well, I, I acknowledge that Jesus is my Savior, but I don't want to do it His way. And, and yet, what God is saying here is that if we, if we love Him, we want to do it His way. If we love Him, we'll obey His commands. If we love Him, we'll uh, you know, live our lives for Him. And why is that? Because He died for us. Uh, no, no greater love could He give us as the verses that follow uh, than to lay down one's life for another. Um, Jesus laid down His life for you and for me and for those who have sinned, and we've all sinned. Uh, Jesus said, I love you so much that I will die. I will take your sins upon my back. I will pay the punishment so that you can be saved. And that's exactly what he did. It's not as if God just looks the other way. And that's what I think a lot of people in our world today get it wrong. They, they want to think, well, you know, yeah, I've done this, but God should just look the other way because God loves me. And as human beings, we do that, right? We, we look the other way for our kids, for uh, people that we know, people that come against us, um, and we're, we're taught to forgive because God forgave us. And so we do, we, we forgive, and yet Jesus paid a price. It wasn't that they just looked the other way. He had to die in order that we might be saved. And because of that, um, and his obedience to the Father, now we need to be obedient to him. Uh, heaven is not this great big um, en encapsulating thing that everybody just kind of falls into. Heaven is something given for those who are children of the Almighty God. Now, that doesn't mean we have to be perfect here. It doesn't mean we have to know everything. In fact, we know that we're all on a different parts of our path toward heaven. Uh, some of us are more mature than others in our walk. Uh, some of us are, are babes in our walk. You know, we just became saved not too long ago. Some of us are still trying to figure this thing out. And, and the important part is that we know Jesus. I mean, that's that's where this is all based on, is knowing Jesus. It doesn't matter where you're at uh, when, you, when you leave this earth, um, when your time is done. What matters is that you know Jesus. But we need to be moving forward in our walk. We need to be uh, gaining more knowledge and maturing and becoming more like Him. And, and the same is true in our other relationships, uh, in your, our marriages, uh, in our relationships with our kids or our friends. If we're not spending time together, if we're not doing like things, uh, we'll tend to grow apart. Uh, and, and it comes to a point where uh, we're almost not friends anymore. And so we need to reestablish those friendships if we want to keep them. And, it, and with God, we, we want to be in a first name basis. We, we want to know everything about him. He already knows everything about us, but we want to know more about him as we serve him, as we get closer to him. And that's when our joy becomes complete, which is what part of our verse is right here, is that if we want the joy that he offers to us, uh, we have to do it his way. And so I know that life isn't easy. I know we have to figure this out, anything out. I know that at times things come up against us. They, they cause stress and strain and, and all these things. But God promises to walk beside us if we simply choose him. God promises to help us if we obey him. Now, that doesn't mean life will always be easy. There may be hard things that we're asked to go through. But God promises that he won't leave us nor forsake us. The question today is, do we want his joy? The question today is, do we want to be obedient to him? And if we do, then let's simply offer ourselves up to him to mold us and transform us to be obedient. Truth is, we couldn't do it on our own before. and We're not going to do it on our own now. Transforming and being more like Christ isn't something we do. It's something God does within us as we are obedient to his spirit. We should be obedient today. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that when we're obedient to you, your joy is complete in us. Father, we want to know your joy and your love and your faithfulness and your hope and all these things that you offer to us. Father, they are a gift from your spirit and we want to know these things. And so help us, Lord, to be obedient to you. Help us wherever we are at in our walk with you. May we draw closer to you. May you transform our lives to be more like Christ each and every day. May you use us to build your kingdom. And as we become less, may you become more in our lives. May your light shine in such a way that others see you and not us. Father, we just thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives and the lives of those we love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
But there you have it. Hey, God loves you. We love you as well. Hey, Easter is just a couple weeks away. If you don't currently uh, have a church to go to on Easter Sunday, we would invite you to join us with ours. Um, certainly, if you're not in the every area, we have online services. You can find us at Every First Church of the Nazarene uh, each, each Sunday at 11 a.m. But we would love to have you in person if you are in this area. Uh, join with us on that day. See what God has to offer through our services and through our, our family and friendship and love. And so just know that, that you are have a, a standing invitation from me. Uh, but we love you. We hope you have a great day. And hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.